The newest original movie on Netflix is getting a lot of attention, not just for its star-studded cast, Julia Roberts, Ethan Hawke, Marashala Ali, but also because of the producers, because Michelle and Barack Obama were very active in production of this movie, gave extensive notes about different things they wanted in it. And in its first few days on the streaming service, it shot up to the top of the Netflix charts. Unfortunately, Fans don't really seem to be enjoying it that much. You can see there a 38% on Rotten Tomatoes from the audience right now. And there might be a couple reasons for that. One, this is an adaptation of a book that they made a couple changes to. But also, it might be because Netflix is going to Netflix. You know you can't have a Netflix original if you don't have some sort of lesson about racism in there, right? Obama faces backlash for films warning about white people. Former President Obama is facing backlash on Monday over a film on which he was a consultant which warns about white people. The former president also created Higher Ground, a production company co-led by his wife, Michelle, which projects were set to touch on issues of race and class, democracy, and civil rights. More recently, Obama served as a consultant on the latest film, Leave the World Behind, based on a novel of the same name. The film was released on Netflix on Friday, follows two families forced to work together amid a nationwide blackout. As the threat grows, both families must decide how best to survive the potential crisis, all while grappling with their places in a collapsing world. World. Well, that's just incredible. Two families coming together, trying to work through their differences. Well, there's one line very specifically that's drawing people's attention. You can see Will Kane. Barack and Michelle Obama, executive produce, gave major feedback on script and had a lot of notes about characters in Netflix Leave the World Behind. And this racist line is included. Trust should not be doled out easily to anyone, especially white people. Imagine if the roles were reversed. We say this a lot when it comes to these virtue signaling, race baiting things that get in our entertainment. Imagine if the situation were reversed. Imagine if it was white people talking this way about black people, the reaction that you'd see. But here it is, Marash Marashala Ali, and they change it from his wife to his daughter in this movie. So this is his daughter who's sleeping on him right now. Here you go. I'm asking for you to remember that if the world falls apart, Trust should not be dulled out easily to anyone, especially white people. Even mom would agree with me on that. Trust should not be doled out easily to anybody, especially white people. And they, they admitted that one of the biggest changes they made from the book adaptation was they've made it way more about racism. Julia Roberts' character just straight up questioning whether or not a black family could afford this house. Apparently, one of the biggest changes they made was to make it much more on the nose, make no doubt about it, that we're going to address racism in this movie. Maybe that's one of the things Obama consulted on, considering that's the entire reason his production company was made in the first place, was to focus on issues like that. So it is right now getting a lot of attention. It's got a great cast and it very quickly went number one on Netflix. Who knows how long it'll stay there. But right now, the audience feedback is not exactly great and Netflix and Obama specifically are getting blasted for this line. Um, every scene Julia Roberts or early scene Julia Roberts question whether the well-spoken black man wearing a tux could really own a luxury home that her family rented. The exchange is ridiculous, forced and fake. I tried to keep watching, but the scene turned me off. No break from the race hustle. And again, it's not just they're talking about like, it's not just a random, oh, white people, blah. Both these families are trying to find a way to survive during this kind of apocalypse scenario. So there is that. It's not just they're talking about a random person, but still obviously turning people off and obviously fans don't really appreciate it all that much. What do you guys think about this? Netflix's newest backlash. Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.